Every real cowboy like myself knows how lonely it is out on the open range, which is why I listen to the Cowboy Boys Podcast. With best contractually obligated friends, Shane Smith and Mac Arthur, the Cowboy Boys will comfort your soul better than any disease-ridden salute gal ever could. Cowboy Boys. Laura, I don't Sogar. know what's that. Sogar. Sogar. <laughs> well, listen, whatever, I whatever. I want to try to pronounce it, so I let. I just let. It's like five it. letters, and you'd be a ama- people throw all sorts of pronunciations in there. <laughs> sugar with an O. I was gonna say people call you sugar, probably. Yeah, uh, um, Sogar, and I'm like, there's no H. What? I I've literally so- had someone call me Shawnee Smythe. So <laughs> you think they were messing with you? No. 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 They were just, I think is they, a very cool name. I think they were just lazily reading my name. Hmm. Sean, yay. <laughs> and it was over the phone, so they didn't see me. They were just like, whatever. <laughs> Maybe they were messing with me, but I, it did yeah. happen, though. I live in the world where uh, I've been poisoned by the internet, and so I think everyone's always messing with everyone. <laughs> always. Yeah. yeah you're, There's you, too many layers of irony to the point where it's... Stuck. We're all trolls now. <laughs> everyone and anything, and I yeah. have no... Uh, I can't tell what's real and what's not anymore. <laughs> Mac hasn't had a social life for about three years. Yeah, it was. Well, uh, I knew the pandemic was coming. <laughs> <laughs> I could see I'm it. I'm gonna start the... training now. <laughs> exactly. I could. T- I could tell where we're headed. So I'm still there, though. I'm yeah, still right. staying Let inside. It... That's good. You just got to stay sharp, you know, just in case. Just, just in case own... we go back in, you're like, I got this. Don't even worry about me. <laughs> just staying online. He's incredibly online. What do you do online? You know, just uh, <laughs> what an excellent question, Laura. <laughs> oh, wow. Online's a big place. <laughs> a lot of different versions of that journey. <laughs> that is a great question. Uh, a lot of blacking out and not remembering where I'm, where I've been. There's uh, cool. a lot of posting. A lot of you hear of Twitter. I'm oh, on there. Oh, you're uh, a, you're a tweeter. <laughs> not, where else are you, Meg? Tell her all about it. Let's see. Uh, there's Twitter. The only websites I visit are Twitter, uh, Instagram, 4chan, and. That's about it. Daily Motion when it was up. Daily Motion? Are or, you talking about Live or Leak? Live Leak, I mean. No, that was like old Mac. Oh. RIP Live Leak. Did you know Live Leak I don't just know. went out? What is that? You've never been on Live Leak? Uh-uh. Laura, I've seen. Yeah, I didn't know. Uh, we uh, as as I realized you were coming to the podcast, I was like, I actually don't know uh, how uh, how weird Laura is, or or what kind of stuff she's into. And then I was like, I feel like Laura maybe has never seen any of the horrible shit we usually talk about on this podcast. Like, have you I ever s- would love to learn. Have you ever seen the guy put the jar in his butt and then it breaks? No. That's that's have a you? good starter what? video. <laughs> you so no, yeah. That's like that's, that's very common. That's level three. I've dated What's like Mormons one? that have seen that. I would say two girls one cup is. Like oh, the, I've seen that. That's the entry level of everyone on the internet. Yeah, that's but everyone's seen that. My mom has seen two girls one cup. My mom hasn't. My mom better not know what that is. <laughs> yeah. Should we call her right now Susan, and ask her? She's like, uh, I'm flying up there right now. Yeah, she's, she can Google it. She, she, your mom's not online. Is what you're saying? She's she. Well, I mean, they're like on like on recipe websites and bullshit. Like, no, that's not even true. They're very like um, home ecky, and they always like they flip houses a fair amount. So they're like very plugged into, but just a completely different world. Okay. Zillow and all that kind of stuff. So they're on, they're on some websites. They're on websites. They, I, you know, they could be into this and they don't tell me. And for that, I thank them. You know, <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh. I wonder what kind of porn they watch. I I have been I, I flew too close to the sun once, and I just went on my dad's computer one time mm. when I visited him, and I was like, I bet you this motherfucker doesn't use incognito mode. And I just went through his, and I was like, oh, he doesn't. And then I found out what my dad. Luckily, my dad beats off to very vanilla porn. That's the best thing that can happen. Yeah, and then <laughs> and then what's even funnier is later that week cuz my dad got divorced mm-hmm. like late late in life, uh he dated my stepmother forever and then or was married to her. <laughs> However that works. Yeah. You know relationships are dating still going. <laughs> I literally don't know how relationships work, but um anyway, so then he got divorced really late in life after having this long relationship and he comes up to me and apparently he'd been out of the beating off game for a while because he's like <laughs> Hey, what's the deal with just like everyone these days needing their face to get fucked? And I was like, 
what? And he was like, yeah, <laughs> porn is just so, why, why can't they just be nice to it? I just want to see someone give a regular blowjob. And I was like, are you asking me for porn recommendations right now, father? <laughs> where, is, where is vanilla porn? And you're like, yeah. And I was like, actually, it's a great question. That is a fair question. In these well, age. see, I'm one of the degenerates. That's like, I, they are, I am the person they are making that for dad. I'm sorry. <laughs> so I don't know what to tell you, yeah. bro. <laughs> Uh, uh, but I, yeah, I caught my dad once. Did you really? <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. I, I, he didn't know uh, I'd come home early, and I went. To, I would have <laughs> like I could. I knew he was in his his office yeah. room. Where and are you so, from? I'm from Utah, okay, along nice. with Shane, and okay. so. But it was just suburbia. Sure. But he had a he had a uh, office on the ground floor, so I was like, I'm gonna scare my dad, right? Oh Classic. no, that is the nightmare scenario <laughs> right so I, I go up to the window and i just see him i'm like what is he doing in there and he had a big old screen and he was on he i could tell what his flavor was in women oh bbw yeah, yeah. Nice. Dude. Was, all right i was like i caught you <laughs> he just, like turned around and it was like ah and it was all laughs he's like hot <laughs> <laughs> at least you could laugh about it. i'm pretty sure my dad would laugh if i caught him that is such a different thing for a daughter to like. No. <laughs> yeah, no, that would be horrific, <laughs> horrifying. We'd never. I'd have to, you know, never see my dad again or something. I'd be like, you, we're done here. You'd have to kill him the Godfather <laughs> style. Yeah. You'd have to like. I'm so go sorry. <laughs> You're just in the back seat as he's driving you out I love into you the so woods, much. still holding a gun to the back of his head. <laughs> but you have like a better relationship with your mom, though, right? Uh, no, we don't. Like, like I'm German. We uh, don't. We don't discuss sex. Things. Really? I thought Germans were like very open about their weird, their leather no, fetishes. No, they, <laughs> they, they have those, but they're they don't talk about that kind of stuff. It's the German sex club, right? It's you yes. leave it at the club. Leave it then, at the club. Leave it right. at the club, and definitely don't talk to your daughter about it. Which I'm fine with that limit. You she'll, know, she'll discover at the club. Is <laughs> yeah. that where Germans? She's have got it. Sex? She's got it handled. She'll be just fine. <laughs> she'll be just fine at the I club. Don't, I don't think they will be. I I, I think that. German repression comes out in, in weird ways. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very. No, you're right. But the ways. point is, the repression is there. <laughs> yeah. It's there. <laughs> hey, um, is this the clear difference between Scandinavian people and Germanic people? Because we're so close, but then Scandinavian people are like, "Yeah, I get my dick sucked sometimes, like in <laughs> whatever red light district. This is what we do." And then, uh, and, and we're just up to stuff and happy. And then Germans are just. Really going yeah. hardcore. <laughs> yeah, going crazy over there. Yeah. Attacking the world. Have you ever been there? Yep. I am a dual citizen with Whoa. it. My mother is German German. So when I say German, like You mean it. Mean it. Yeah. And um I went there like two years ago and um it was fine. I spent like a summer there when I was little, so it was a brief amount of time where I only spoke German. But like little person, like ch child German. Yes. Um and my dad was like, that's got to go because I only speak English. <laughs> He's like, I can't speak to my daughter Oh, right he, now. Ne he never tried to learn? <laughs> he, like, no, not really. Like, he was like, Good eh, for him. Whatever. <laughs> He's just like, nah, fuck it. Yeah. I I'm good. Do you and your mom sometimes talk behind his back in German? She, whenever, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which, like, can you imagine? Like, you're just like, she's obviously talking shit right now. Yeah, that's so <laughs> Why funny. Why did she just bust out German to the kids? This is bullshit. <laughs> Does she ever talk to you in German about your boyfriend? Uh, oh yeah, she, that she thinks she's being sneaky too. Like she's always like starts babbling in German, and I'm like, um, I can't. Res I also can't speak it anymore. I can understand it still. It's like weird when you learn a language really young, like yeah, like it, the way it gets in your brain. So I'm always like, uh huh, <laughs> and she'll like keep talking to me, and I'm like, yeah, no, he he does make money. Yes, <laughs> I, I have the exact same thing. Spanish is my first language. Yeah, but then I forgot it when I was like six. Cause yeah, 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 yeah. It's to, weird, right? I went to English school and everything, so it's it's back there. When people speak it, I'm like, I have a child understanding of Spanish. Yes. But other than that, I'm like, uh, I'm gonna finish my order in English because yeah. I can't speak. I can't reciprocate. It's one saying. of those things when you go and spend some time there. I found like by the end of my trip to Germany, I was like, it was coming back at a decent rate. But um, it's like stored in like the back archive, of my brain. <laughs> you can't uh, read a book. No, German, no, no. I would recognize some words. I'd be like, oh yeah, that's the got that one down. <laughs> but watching watching TV cartoons, that's the that's on the level. You get it. Yep. Oh, wait, you said you had a boyfriend. Who might that be? Matthew Broussard, oh, who name? I believe that you guys... Oh, that, that lovely Spanish guy we had on the podcast, <laughs> Mac. <Broussard. laughs> 
Dude, just, Spain and Germany. Just name drop. Ultimate team. <laughs> Spain and Germany. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they, they did team up that one time. They did the dangerous duo. Woo. <laughs> you guys really We're together. Really, up um, to bad stuff. Listen, we get things done. <laughs> <laughs> they do. They're a very impactful people. <laughs> Not always for great reasons. True. I, Spain did control one of the largest empire, European empires for a time. They're very bad. Yeah. Sp- the Spanish Inquisition, is that related? No, the Spanish Inquisition was actually the least bad of all the Inquisitions. It was only the most famous because Spain was the most popular country and the, had the largest empire at the time. But the Spanish Inquisition historically was really like, hey, are you doing witchcraft? <laughs> Maybe a little. And they'd be like, okay. <laughs> and then they would just leave. That's Why, why don't you not do that anymore? <laughs> That's why uh, the Spanish type of... Uh, Catholicism is so laden with like weird magic and saint worship and all that other stuff because the Spanish Inquisition was not like that good. Okay. So that's why the they Spanish the flavor out fast enough. Yeah, the Spanish flavor of Catholicism is super like. What are you, are you guys doing? Something different? And they're like, no, this is what <laughs> totally Catholicism, but it looks weird. It's the Santa Maria, like all that other weird shit there because. The Spanish Inquisition is not good. The reason that people think it's really scary. What's weird is that good is like, you killed a lot of yeah, people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? The people who were really good at the Inquisition were the pilgrims. Yeah, they fucking ro- who came ruled over here. that Inquisition. Yeah, they were. They, they I didn't really realize that's it. what that was called, what they were doing. Yeah. Just inquisiting. Inquisiting, yeah. <laughs> there was an Inquisition the um into uh like Scandinavia and stuff, too. Killing people does have a better... When you call it a better name, it's so yeah. much more palatable. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. The Pilgrims just came over here and <laughs> had a little Inquisition with the Native Americans. <laughs> yeah. Even the, like, cru- the Crusades I, are technically an Inquisition. It sounds, it sounds a little more noble. Crusade, yeah, it does. The Crusade of, sounds the best. That's You like a Crusade. A Crusade is good. Instead of like, oh, we're going to go murder the local yeah. natives. <laughs> yeah. There was, yeah. I mean, and there were a lot of crusades that weren't even in the Middle East. There was a crusade into Scandinavia in, up in that area, and then the crusaders lost. And then after they lost, all the people were like, we'll just be Christian. And then they'll be <laughs> like, why did you kill us all then? And they were like, for fun. <laughs> and that was it. That was the end of that. The one I like that people don't like is Jihad. I'm very fond of Jihad. I think it sounds nice. Yeah. Is that, is that the same same thing? It's literally the same <laughs> thing. Yeah. Fuck it. All these names. This is great. No, it's just everyone trying to put a spin yeah, on the same. It's marketing. We're just yeah. marketing. <laughs> and We're I... kill a lot of people, but flavor it up a little bit. Missionary work, Jihad, same yeah. thing. Same. Yeah. Different tools Crusade, sometimes. Inquisition. But... Mm-hmm. What, what was the difference between a fatwa? We declared that on the queen. A fatwa is when you officially, um, like, Put like it's not like a hit. I don't think. I think. Oh it's, yeah, yeah. I think it's like if you're like, oh, I want, uh, I'll, I'll pay a million dollars for the head of. Uh, That's right. Let's go with like an evil company, Nabisco. If I were to say that officially, that's that, a fatwa. That's not a fatwa. That's like a what do you call it? It's um, what do you, a, a ransom? Not a ransom. What am I thinking of? You're putting a hit out. A hit yeah. out. Yeah, a hit. But a fatwa is like, oh, you're gonna go. Uh, our religion officially. Says that person has to go. I think it's a, just a religious hit. A non-binding legal opinion on a point of Islamic law given by a qualified jurist in response to a question posed by a private individual <laughs> judge or government. God damn. A jurist issues fatwas is called a mufti. Wait. And the act of issuing fatwas is called ifta. Read the beginning. Non-legally binding? Yeah. yeah. Non-binding legal opinion. So we could put fatwas on anyone and no one can say anything? That's right. So we fatwaed the queen correctly. Dude. <laughs> there you go. Oh, you, oh, you got <laughs> you guys that dumb bitch. The yeah, we, put the, yeah we, hate, we hate the royal the, the royal royals. Family. Well, that yeah, makes The sense. royal family. We're at war it with is them. absolutely. I'm glad that you two are on the case, first <laughs> yeah, of all. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Let me know how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll watch that in the news. This was before all the drama, too. Oh, Not, I mean, there's you know there's drama. All, yes, whole 100, that's all they do. It's the <laughs> it's reality television for Britain. Except for sometimes people will die for real. Well, no, that happens in reality yeah, TV. Yeah, yeah. Also. No, no, no. It, my point stands. Mm-hmm. It's just you got to stay up until four a.m. to see anything happening here in America <laughs> when that shit happens. It's like why. Why do you? We formed a new country, so you don't have to pay attention to them. We yeah. have our own 
real celebrities over here who are like professionally entertaining rather than they just exist yeah (laughs) they're they're just old and racist and yeah like famously racist (laughs) can i say though that it is very interesting it to me to have someone be famous for no reason and then just to see what happens you're just like we're gonna make this baby famous, and they're like it's just a dumb baby from England, and you're like exactly. Let's yeah, see what it let's does. Go. <laughs> yeah, let's see what it fucking does. Hmm. That's pretty fun, just to be like, what? It's just a guy, <laughs> just That's, some yeah. fucking goofy ass fucking guy with a stupid accent. Oi, bruv. Uh, uh, it's breakfast or whatever yeah. they fucking say. Also, you don't have to have any purpose in your life because you don't have to have a job ever. Your job is just continue existing, and we'll keep an eye on you. True. I guess the two guys did join the military. Good for them. Sure. <sighs> yeah, they That's joined. True. I bet they didn't have... A ten... I don't know if they did a bunch, but... <laughs> yeah, they didn't have like 10 teams surrounding them making sure that yeah, they, exactly. those guys didn't die. I know. What, what if a... they had just died? <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> that would be so fucking bad. I mean, like, I'm glad they didn't, but like... No, we want them to die. All right, never mind. <laughs> yeah, Fuck. Yeah, yeah. Didn't one of Joe... Did one of Joe Biden's sons die in combat? Or... Yeah, yeah. Who, that's the so wait there's the crack smoker and then there's the the combat guy there's just like every family dude that, that's pretty good. every family's got one <laughs> just like i'm my family's crack smoker <laughs> we, and the bar is incredible we call no, them smelling I, salts i'm okay. lying smelling <laughs> salts, yeah. yeah my family firstly my family's a meth family but i yeah. i guess Salt technically earth, <laughs> as far as between me and my biological brother i'm the fuck up so oh, okay are you the favorite in your family or do you have any siblings or i have a sister i don't know i think they might like her more but i'm like the successful one quote unquote they you like I mean? you more uh, you think you i don't be know unsuccessful and more likable yes 100 yeah, definitely because that's the, how around me they're work. always like you're so intense like she's like a she's more chill you know? Yeah. It's you have that in your family. No, I'm it's the, very no, clear that I'm, your mother likes your sister more than you. Mm, <laughs> or, well, there's one, but the rest of the family know your sister because she's. Do you have a big family? Um. So my immediate family is very small. It's just the four, my parents and my sister. Yeah. But m- both my parents have nine siblings each. Oh, f- yes. So, yes, you do. Yes. I have more. I don't know the names of all my cousins. Yeah. I don't care to learn all their names. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they got to. They got to come to me do you see how people royals accidentally fuck people they're related to now <laughs> you know what i get that it. is like the least of their offenses in my like yeah of course there's not that many people like, yeah especially in, in high that, society in that group of people it's like yeah ha- maybe act. just bring someone up just find a rich person and be like you can be royal also isn't that yeah. what uh they kick no, the one guy out for yeah that's Meghan markle was like the, which is crazy that that was the version of bringing someone up I'm like, oh, one of the most beautiful. Like, she's she's an okay actress. She's good. She's fine. Who? She was an actress. M- am I mixing her up, Megan Mark? No, I you, I just literally don't know anything yeah, about popular know. culture. Oh, was come she on, an you actress? guys can't put a fatwa or whatever on these people. No, without- we hate the royal family by <laughs> virtue of them being the royal family. It takes. Well, she's well, out. Yeah, yeah, she was on like Law and Order or something. Was oh, she really? okay. Yeah. Well, you can't be on Law and Order and then it's like, yeah. Well, that, that's can... exactly that's my point. It's like you're not exactly being brought up at that point. Like you're yeah, already Angelina rich. Jolie makes sense, not fucking La- lady who was body number three on Law no, and she, Order. No, she she was the star. I don't know if it was Law and Order. It was some like crime show. This well, girl, this girl, you've got to have seen her. Yeah. yeah, no, she's fine. She's beautiful. Yeah, she's beautiful. <laughs> so who cares what her acting's like? It's the uh... is she Canadian? Is that her problem? What's her? What's wrong with her? Nothing's wrong with her. <laughs> what's wrong with but, her? But uh, <laughs> something's wrong with her. Oh, she's. I mean, I. She fucks the, whatever his name is, Prince Harry or yeah. whatever, or and the, the family, former Prince Harry. The family did not like her, and it's probably because she's black. Like, yeah, I yeah mean, it's hundred percent because of that. Like, that's very out in the open now. Yeah, which yeah. is like really weird. <laughs> Her, what her? A lot of your citizens are also black, so I'm guessing they're not super fired up about, you know, the outright like, no, uh, you know, I mean, they don't care. The royal family does not. Yeah, they're, they're, they're in they charge. Have all the they're the royal family. They do whatever they want. It's crazy. That's why we have to kill them. It's hypothetically, <laughs> if, no, we if don't they kill were them. Evil. You put off if. Putting a fat a religious fatwa on the royal family is us just being like, look, if someone 
did something to them, they would gain favor in the cowboy boy religion. That's true. <laughs> That's how that works. Legally. Yeah. Our God, the cow, non, the gods of non-legally cowboys. Non-legally binding, though. Non-legally binding, yeah. from what we read on Wikipedia. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't know how This is not law works. advice. We are not telling anyone to do it, but if they did, it would be interesting that they would have it as It'd an probably, option. Probably get brought up on the podcast point. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's basically it. <laughs> have, you, have you ever threatened someone's life before? No, this is my first time. Have, oh, you're including yourself. I didn't, I, I well, don't you know. don't have to implicate yourself. Yeah, I, we have, <laughs> I have literally had the Department of Homeland Security talk to me about not doing it anymore. So. Oh, stop stop threatening the queen? Not the queen. They don't They don't give a shit about the <laughs> queen. They're like, no, no, no kill that we old agree. bitch. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I will punch the queen's old bones into dust if she ever comes to new york queens new york <laughs> it should be called so no you're queens new york there it is. inviting her on the pod i'll invite her on the pod to talk <laughs> <laughs> if she wants to talk holy she... shit i would enjoy that episode <laughs> let's sell tickets to that she's like so are you racist i want to know just let's, let's talk it out instead of the softball questions that yes yeah, seriously politicians normally get <laughs> yeah hmm. well uh what's the you you I heard you were an Olympian. Almost. Almost. I know. Sorry. I not said dinosaur. Olympic level swimmer. Oh. And no, it's it's very common. It's that, very common. That's so all. I got fourth place at Olympic trials, which doesn't go. That's pretty good, though. It's, I mean, it's not good enough. Does third place go? Second does. Okay. So. Oh, what? I know. Uh, first two for most of the events. And then freestyle gets fucking six spots, which I was like, because <laughs> we're relays. You should have done that. Uh, you know, I, yeah. Do you think? What was <laughs> your event? Good idea. <laughs> wait, you? wait. I want to guess. You butterfly. No. Oh, okay. Um, You're wrong. What about you? You're you. wrong. <laughs> wow. Incredible. Damn, you took the other one. Um, what's another? You backstroke. No. God but, damn, guys. <laughs> Do you uh, know the other ones? I would love to know. Dolphin kick. That's I, no, that's a part of it. <laughs> it's it's breast, freestyle, back, uh, butterfly, and then, of course, you have the I am. Look at you go. Yeah, yeah. I swam. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah you swam. I was like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So yeah, would you have known all those? I don't know any of those. Okay. I, well, I always wonder, like, I'm like, how much do people know about swimming? And it's nothing. Not zero. It's zip. And, and, and you know what's so funny is then I swam later in life. I did, like, uh, survival swimming courses. And, yeah. like, sw- like, literally had to swim for my life. Yeah. And uh, none of the strokes you learned, those are all wrong. You don't do those. Those are floating if you're in, Yeah, if you're in the ocean and you're, like, dying or you're trying to save someone, all of those strokes are incorrect. What do you do? Side stroke is the only correct stroke Side to do stroke. in a survival situation. Why is Why that? that? Because it's the only way to stay. It's like the only way to conserve energy and not drown in rough water. And if you're trying to tow someone or something, it's the strongest stroke. Do you put your back over towards time. the waves crashing down on you? What? I don't know. I'm if you're Oh, if you're swimming in the surf, then I guess you could just body surf out. Oh, okay. But if you have gear know. on or whatever... Oh, uh, so what? Like just like kind of like a weird. Yeah, it's like side a, it's a side stroke action. with like um a breaststroke kick almost. And oh, as that you makes pull sense. Yourself, that makes sense, and yeah. especially if you're trying to move weight. Yeah, like, it's not for speed. You're, it's for you're, power. Your free arm can like push, but yeah, you have like a lead arm, and you can just switch arms as you swim okay, over that's distance. Fair. I but I, yeah, I, I had to swim had like <laughs> several miles once, and it was inside stroke. Terrible, yeah. That'd be a lot of obliques. Yes. Like. <laughs> You're very tired afterwards, and the drowning is very – feels like a real possibility. <laughs> You're also cold. It was a terrible time in my life. <laughs> Why would, wait, so you were doing a course for this. You weren't swimming for survival? Yeah, I was doing a course, but I had uh, – I actually did – uh, as a kid, put myself in a situation where I almost I had to swim oh, yeah. very far. You did Why? a Gattaca. <laughs> I did a I did a f- uh, f- jump out of a boat and have to swim uh, like an idiot very far. And then you, I did it as, like as a joke. But then it was like nighttime, and I just realized. I oh, was like, night. Night uh, yes, yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, I was were you, swimming at night were in you the also middle drunk? of the lake. <laughs> no, I wasn't drunk at this time. How I was, old were you? I was like 16, and, and I was All just right. like You'll fucking with my friends. Year olds are, yeah, they're they invisible. <laughs> yeah, and, but I remember getting very tired and being like, uh oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> like I'm in a lake at night. I messed up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then, I, but I did make it out. Also, once I did fall out of a boat, um, when we were, I tried to like just fuck around in the ice. In the ice. Yeah, so we were, like, on a boat, like, on this little lake near where I grew up. 
and um, we like put you know you you can like hook into the ice if it's really sheer and like pull yourself and then we got to this part where the ice was thicker and I jumped out onto it and fell through Ooh. nice and then I was very cold and we couldn't you can't like get the boat out of the ice quick enough life jacket so I was like oh I'm gonna die did you have a life jacket on no okay why would I have a life jacket I thought you were able to get out but you're just like at that point so exposed I was almost froze to death yeah Jesus. I've almost died when? so many times as a kid. Yeah, I've almost fallen into a mine a bunch of times. We what like the went hell? spelunking. I've yeah, I've only been on guided tours of mines. <laughs> like, when I was a kid, we used to we did this thing where we laid down and then shot guns over each other's heads to feel like what it would be like to get shot at. That's a good one. Whoa. Never do that. No. What? <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, all kinds of dumb stuff. Any near death experiences? Oh, you God. want to talk about <laughs> near death experiences? Nothing like, I mean, I've done hikes where I'm like, we could have definitely fallen, and that could have been a whole thing. Um, and then I grew up. I spent a couple of years in Tucson, Arizona, and we would go out on trail rides in the wash, the washes, which is like dried out riverbeds, which is mostly what Arizona is. <laughs> it's yes. not a lot of water. And um, that was always weird because there's like crazy animals there. So you'd be like, snake, like gonna get my ass bit in the middle of the desert and that's really bad if that happens scorpions tarantulas. scorpions yeah tarantulas there's all sorts of stuff i was gonna worried you're gonna get flash flooded i was gonna say flash floods are the scariest thing flash floods but you like you know if there's gonna be rain but you're a swimmer so you're i'm good. a swimmer so i've been there could be <laughs> rain far away from you and the flood can get you i don't know it's a it's a pretty Pretty desert, pretty desert. But yeah, I, I mean, see. I hear you. I was gonna say people see, in Utah die from it. Yeah, we're from Utah, and I'm uh, I'm was born in Arizona, so I like had it ingrained in me. It's like if the humidity rises like just barely, and you're in the desert, get out. Yeah. Of any yeah, your wash. attitude is how you die. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, I guess apparently I was a near-death experience for me. You know. Now I'm like, shit, <laughs> look at me go, avoiding. I'm going to show you a video of a flash flood after this so you can see how fucking wild it is. How huh? how many cars have you, while well, uh, riding around the desert, have you come across that were just buried <laughs> in sand? <laughs> there you go. That's fair. That's fair. Oh, that's also okay. flash flood. No, because uh, I've seen like at least five or six. We would also, <laughs> we'd also be like on horses. So oh, like, we'd be horses horseback riding so then i'm like i don't know they're pretty good at sensing danger and that's shit. not real no horses <laughs> no horses float and she's a swimmer. horses die she all the fine. time she was she would have been fine the horses do float better than the car i'll be real horses can swim not like they don't love it no but they, they can i think they hate it uh, uh <laughs> no some horses like it just like some cats weirdly like to swim yeah so swimming god that'd be my dream a swimming my cat, cat swim. I, I got a oh, cat. Oh, for your cat to swim oh, with you. Oh, God, I would love that so much. Just train it. it he, he, what do you, like? Get him train. in a little submarine. You're the adult. Oh, my God, it'd be he so He does cute. like, to, he watches me while I shower, and I'm like, okay, creep. Like, But I'm like, really would love if he just like hopped in and like played in the water. I'd be like, oh, that'd be the, the cutest thing in the fucking world. If you world. get a Bengal cat, they love to play I in the water. I had a Bengal cat, and he didn't like the water, and oh, I was like, wow, you are pumped. broken. That sucks. It was heartbreaking. He was a hmm. huge part of why I got him. He was gorgeous. So you're a big aquatic activities person. Yeah, yeah I guess. I, would, I meant Love to a ask, shower. <laughs> a lot of showers, a lot of swimming. Uh, <laughs> when you were training or, or, or applying, how do you say that? Applying for the Olympics? Yeah, do you apply for the Olympics? No. So the way it works is um, every four years is the, obviously the Olympics. And about two months or so beforehand, they'll have what's called the Olympic trials, which is where okay. it's a time qualification standard through USA Swimming, who, you know, chooses a team from there. So you wanted to fight for America, not Germany. Yes, exactly. Well, actually, what's funny is I did have the option to go swim for Germany, where I would have made it 100%. Damn. Yeah. And should. I should have fucking done that. Uh, <laughs> I'm yeah. like, what do I, what's wrong with me? But I was all like, it would be weird to compete against my American teammates. No. Now I'm like, oh. You are competing against them. I I know. No, dude, you're right. You're not <laughs> wrong. Immediately in my head, I'm like, wait, wait a, a second. Minute. If you have no, a listen, I'm the idiot here for sure. <laughs> Uh, that is well established. <laughs> you just show up and they're like, it would be funny if you won a medal for Germany and you'd have to just be like, yeah, yes, yeah. <laughs> das ist gut. <laughs> Sehr <Yeah>. gut, Deutschland. <laughs> yeah, you'd have to throw on a fake accent. <laughs> they're like, she lives in Rhode Island. <laughs> that's where you train. Yeah, exactly. well, that's the other thing is like all of, uh, not all, of, but a lot of the foreign um like high level folks train in the U S at various go. colleges and stuff like that. 
Um, so that was an option for me. But but basically, so you have USA Swimming, who does a bunch of meets, who qualify with a time standard. And then depending on your event, top two or top six will go to the Olympics from the final race at the Olympic trials. So it's a whole fucking process. There's three different rounds at trials itself. So you could, I've watched girls get world records in the first and then not make the team. Huh. Which is, oh, I know. It's bullshit. It's just how you it's feel brutal. that day, right? It's just how you performance you, you you place that day. Yeah, purely it, you could go. You your best time could win, like be the equivalent of winning the Olympics. Okay, and you might not make it. So if everyone did good that day, and you did the bet, it's just it's yeah. all about consistency over. Or no, it's just how the dice it's about roll. That one specific race. That's the other thing. Yeah, if you yeah. just have your race of your life, good for you. If you are if you won, so that was like the weird part is I was the favorite to make it. Oh, and that's like mentally not great. No, I know. I, I wasn't happy after, as you can imagine. I was like, mm, well, that was a waste of goddamn 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not true. No, I, I was going to say, that's like not exactly. I mean, it does, you know, someone might feel that way but it's not at all you go through you go through phases when something like that happens like for the week you're like i'm super pissed yeah. understandably and now i'm like for my comedy it is a lot funnier to have not made it than to have like made it you to, know what i mean <laughs> to have dealt with that disappointment it prepared you for for up. bombing yes exactly <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> which olympics did you try out for I've, I've gone to three different trials so i've gone to the london trials beijing and rio oh okay um that's the thing is I've done this. I did it for a really long time. I swam 20 years professionally on the U S national team for a number of years, got a silver medal at world championships. Like I was like in uh, sponsored by different swimwear companies and stuff. Like I was in it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You were doing it. I was doing the thing. I mean, but not the Olympics. <laughs> okay. You're still like easily one of the best swimmers in the world. Right. <laughs> yeah. I mean, well, what kills me is like with, with football, Everyone's like, oh my god, professional football player, and I'm like, they're bad. They're bad. There's hundreds of them. There's not that of swimming. Like, to order to be a professional swimmer, and I have a couple of friends like this, where it's like, you're in the top, you know, thirty people that can do this globally. Yeah, globally. <laughs> like, Damn. Yeah. So, which is crazy. There's no money in it though. So that also prepared me for stand up. It's perfect. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Smooth uh, transition. Just oh. <laughs> being the best, no money. That's what you got to live with. There's actually yeah. probably more money in stand up. There actually than swimming. Is considerably more <laughs> yeah, money. Is. Way That's more why money. when people complain, I'm like, wait. <laughs> no one can ever just. No one's gonna be like, "Hey, I want you to come swim in front of some people at a bar for ten, <laughs> for ten bucks." Yeah, yeah. Or, two drink minimum to watch you do a fifty freestyle. <laughs> Though fun. I guess you could teach swim lessons, which is the equivalent. I do clinics still, um, but I don't like teaching. I don't know. It's okay. Like I, I don't mind doing it like a one-off thing. But people are always like, "You want to be a coach?" And I'm like, "No, it sounds terrible." Because, like, why go? You just have to stand around a chlorinated pool with ki children for the rest of your life. Like, it sounds terrible. What about, yeah, what about kids adult are classes? Like worst. I, I don't want to teach adults to swim You're either. Like, you dummy. You should have learned by now. Yeah, it's should've too late, had... man. <laughs> I went on a date with someone who said they didn't know how to swim, and I was like, I got to go. <laughs> I, I, like, I don't know why it's a deal breaker for me. Dude, I'm not kidding. I really? did, too, and I, I didn't believe him. And then I was like, <laughs> and they kept getting mad that yeah, I was like yeah, bringing yeah. it up. And I was like, well, I lived in Austin at the time. And I was like, oh, we should go to Barton Springs because it's hot as hell. Like it's like 105 degrees. Let's go swim. And he's like, I can't swim. And I'm like, oh, you'll be fine. And we go. And he's like, I still can't swim. And I'm like, it's weird. This date's not going well. <laughs> I don't know. This guy's being so strange. <laughs> I'm popping around in the water. I'm like, this what? No? All right. <laughs> I don't know. If a girl was like, we're going to do a thing you've never done before for a date, I'd be like, all right, I'm on board. I, I, I'm on. I'm on your side. Yeah, like, I would just be like, "Fuck it, I I'll do drown." Kind of get though. Yeah, exactly. There is like an, a life element there. <laughs> like, don't drown. But um, yeah, looking back, I was like, that wasn't very kind of you, Laura. You should have been nah, a better listener. No, no. fuck Didn't him. work out. Didn't work out. Fuck that guy. If you're a man and you don't know how to swim, if you're a man and you've never <laughs> learned the bikini activity where you get to see women in their underwear, that's so true. It's on like, purpose. Something is wrong with like. You know what? Optimize your chances for that scenario, yes. my dude. <laughs> what are you doing? Well, I'm just saying, even if it's like something you don't know how to do, you have two options. These are the only two options. Admit that you don't know how to do it, but be willing to like learn or lie. 
<laughs> and then let it come well, out on the date and be like, sorry, I don't know how to swim. I just wanted to go on a date with you. Yeah. Like, I both are preferable than to just kind of like, uh, I can't like. Well, but then he got there and he was like, I, I don't know how to swim. He didn't try? What if I enter the water and, well, what, is he going to drown? This is like yeah. a. Yeah. But you would go in, I know people. <laughs> I who, want a man who will drown for me on uh, the first date. I, there are people who don't know how to swim that still like go waist deep into the ocean. And I'm just like, fucking That's, all right. <laughs> that is hardcore. Yeah. You're like, the ocean will kill you for sure. It'll just take you. Yeah, like, it just whoop, like, right on out there. Do you not like the ocean? I love the ocean. Oh, I used okay. to be a lifeguard. But it, it's like, riptides are a real thing. Yes. They'll take you way out. Like, And then you'll see people who are like, been drinking and don't know how to swim and are out there and you're like well we can go get Hell their yeah. ass <laughs> did you ever see the movie gattaca i referenced it earlier i didn't so uh, wait so that's that dna one yes uh, i i think i've actually seen bits of it and but I've, so i have the memory of a goldfish so um one of the guys in it is he's less than perfect he has bad dna oh, and he's like same. a clone and the good dna and he swims out as far as he can and then the guy the guy with the good dna is like why why do you do this he's like i don't know it's just so i can be better and then he keeps swimming until he's has no energy and that's when he swims back and that's what reminds me of you as a child just get putting yourself in those situations but also how much you hate the ocean and how <laughs> much you hate the ocean i fucking hate the ocean i'm oh. actually so i love swimming out into the ocean and lifeguards getting mad at me <laughs> to be like yeah. come in i'm like i want to go further i have thassalophobia a lot what is that thassalophobia is like scare fear of wide open or dark water or like the ocean, what is really. underneath you <laughs> i have it with lakes too and i have that's swam fair. across a lake at night oh, that sounds so cool and, with my brothers and i've also jumped out of that fucking boat it was like a house boat we were hanging out and they were like you won't do it and uh, and i was like i want to go back to the campsite and i literally just jumped off the boat like an asshole and was like <laughs> i'll swim back yeah. in my fucking clothes or whatever and that was that's hard when i was like oh i'm gonna die <laughs> yeah <laughs> but in I, your clothes that's a completely different i element. was fine but yeah, one I, of the craziest swims i ever did was we took acid in, nice. the, in the middle of a lake like on an island and then and swam and it's same deal like maybe a mile or so across yeah. what dosage uh enough <laughs> like the colors like the full everything was like going for it yeah yeah were you still you were still conscious yeah 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 i had a friend who did that and then he was like i almost drowned <laughs> well that was the thing is that like you're swimming and that in a lake specifically i was like whoa where am i yeah. but we we're it was like all the swim teams so we were extremely talented swimmers so we we're like we'll be fine looking back we were like this is so about we, they would have drowned <laughs> anyone yeah. with less than our skill level would have drowned doing that nice i know acid it, it kind of elevates you pushes you a little higher too sometimes it could it could definitely backfire in that scenario though if it was your first time doing acid i'd say don't go swimming in the middle of the lake <laughs> <laughs> you actually just Disclaimer, don't swim in the middle of a lake on acid. <laughs> yeah, just go ahead and don't do that. Swim no, on acid. I'm I'm the I'm the one say, you know your body best. <laughs> do what you think you can do. If you drown, let I said don't do it. <laughs> there yeah. you go. Uh, I mean, we've already put what, what, if a, a death threat out. I don't need more deaths on my hands here. <laughs> I love that the whole swim team is doing acid. Oh yeah, they're crazy. Allegedly, people. allegedly, we don't want to oh, get. Yeah. We don't want anyone to get not in the next in the Japan. What is it? Is the Japan Olympics happening yet, or is that? It's actually the trials are in three weeks because I'm going to go do stand up there. Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah. Why don't you? Why don't you just try out for your, what country could you do? <laughs> Pick one out of hat. Just, just do Germany. See what no. happens. You're out of practice, <laughs> yeah. but who knows? <laughs> I don't know. I uh, would rather die. That sounds Aww. so bad. That's I like. Once you're done, it's so nice to be done. Yeah. You don't have to get up in the mornings and do all the shit. Is that what it's like and to quit stand up, man? Dude, I feel that a hundred percent. Trying to get back into it is just like I'm messaging people and I'm like, hey, where do I go? And they're he quit stand up like three years ago. Are you trying to get back in? I now? quit life three years ago. <laughs> Yeah, and you, you pandemic ready. I know that's yeah. I got pan ready for the pandemic, and <laughs> I was ahead of the curve. And now I'm trying to get back into it. It's just like, oh, add I'll add you to this Facebook group, and you can talk to these people, and like you have just to message go, us. Just ahead. go show up. 
I know. That's where I'm like, I'm yeah, not. Yeah, which does require you to leave this place. So mm. I don't know. One step at a time. Seems tough. Seems yeah. difficult. I'm not signing up for your Facebook group. <laughs> I will show up. I took him to a show the other day. It was like <laughs> this, this like show in a really cool place. There's like beautiful women there. It's uh, a fun show where everyone's having a good time. It's in a penthouse. Yeah, okay. it was like the, 60 the floors Empire up. The Empire State Building is like right in our view. Beautiful. It's like this incredible so moment. It's like a- tough one to get involved in like out the gate um, yeah people will know he's not involved in the show but i just, I just took him to be social there's people giving out free drugs there's you know um, who booze books this? is flowing <laughs> and then mac i look over and mac is just sitting there dad mode disassociating like looking at the <laughs> ceiling and i was like bro there's so many people to talk to there's so many things for you to do i didn't want to talk to anybody <laughs> I, know, I know what you mean though like i don't know my small talk skills have gone so down the drain recently like i tried to meet new people that i didn't know for the first time recently at like a barbecue or something like that and i didn't know how to speak to them at all it was just like i I don't care what if we go back into lockdown i'm never gonna see you again (laughs) that's fair is it that you don't i feel the i don't care about what you're saying it's my thing i find with people is i'm like i want to talk about i have no small talk i'm just like that was the thing is I, i was thinking about like i had I've been having this journey with um trying to potentially freeze my eggs. I don't know the whole thing, but that's like all what? I want to talk. I How know. How old are you? I'm thirty. She's, she's got Olympian eggs. <laughs> well, first Do you want to freeze yeah. them? Yeah. Like, <laughs> well, you got to freeze them. Wait, it's are it's you a- freezing <laughs> them to protect them from your current boyfriend? <laughs> or oh, it's a whole it's a whole thing. But point being, that's like kind of all. Like at this party, I was like, all I want to talk to these women about is fertility yeah oh that's so wild really aggressive to just come out the gate i don't know you do you freeze your eggs i just want to know i'm just taking a poll like that's how no one does that no a lot of people do Uh, no one i know does it costs twenty thousand dollars i'm white trash so if you here's the secret if you grow up poor it makes you more fertile that's real or religious or religious so if you just pop in a church for a solid like All i right, want to say that's one of my backup plans then 20 uh, 20 months in a row just don't miss a sunday if you literally have a come to jesus moment in your 50s you'll get oh, pregnant have a baby yeah, yeah. You promise? oh my god just <laughs> okay. stay in a tr- just go stay in my the i more, have a trailer you could stay in <laughs> the more okay. orthodox the more fertile you'll Perfect. become if <laughs> you get fucked on a mattress on the ground and i don't mean to be so crude <laughs> no no, I no don't I, mean I, to this be. is this is official doctor i want to help you out Thank you. <laughs> are you are you truly uh, so it's more just the fact that I had this very weird doctor's appointment where I had just turned 30 and I had my like birthday celebration the weekend. But oh, we did. You had we were on our podcast. Yeah. And I was so fucked up. I was just I had a bender of a weekend. And then I go to the doctor and they take my blood, which is like mostly drugs and yes. stuff like that. And I'm <laughs> sitting with him and he's like, OK, so you just turned 30. This is an interesting blood panel that we just got. <laughs> we don't know. And uh, have you thought about having children? <laughs> I was like, I hate that I'm having this conversation yeah. right now. But he was like, well, if you're not going to do it within the next five years, you really should consider doing some sort of egg freezing just to make sure that you have the option like later on. Because I was like, not five years minimum. Like, yeah. It's weird. And that's the thing. Yeah, like, I guess if women you're not have like. On it. Well, yeah. I was like, oh, what, about I, what do I do? Like, I go to comedy shows and I work and I. That's it. That's my life right now. I, there's no room for a child in that equation. Nor do I want a child at this point or maybe ever. Yeah. So then I'm like, what if I just spend 20 grand and I don't use it? That's the thing. Uh, yeah. I guess I would be like, w- just adopt at that point. Well, that, but then also I'm like, my legacy. <laughs> oh yeah your big legacy <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah no, I'm, I'm, yeah absolutely i'm like I'll, i'm in the no kids camp so i don't think i'll ever have kids i've been open to like I've, i'll date people who have kids because i'm willing to like yeah i'm it's not that i don't want to be a father i said right. i don't want to have a child yeah those are two you know you don't have to do a ton for for your side. oh yeah but still <laughs> i don't but Hold on, i just want to let you know trust me <laughs> being if, a father is most of it for the men <laughs> well no because then i'm gonna have to protect her from the baby and <laughs> so uh, I, so you want it to just be kind of like done with the tough pieces already yeah and or or no i just I, I um i just think that if i have a baby it's gonna be all fucked up 
right? All uh, right, sure. Yeah. And also, every, guess what? That's every baby. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to contribute. <laughs> look at us right now. <laughs> I don't want to create more babies personally. Mm, I, I'll just take one already. Yeah. So I'm not afraid of a baby. I'm. I just. I don't want to have a baby. So you know, but, you can do both. You can have babies and adopt babies. I know you can, but I don't want to do either. Just for the record, I'm very pro. I'm very pro. Your first child should be an accident. Really? Yes. And I was not an accident. Morally obligated to that your first child is should be an accident. This is Max Hold big can thing. I, can I double down on that? What why? Well, yeah, I was gonna say <laughs> I was about I'm to, not leaving that alone. Carry the, on. The sir. reason the reason he says that is because he's a disgusting monster and he just wants to any woman no. listening to this that may want to date no. him in the future, he's like he, just let me come inside <laughs> you with this whole thing. Yeah. My legacy. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. legacy. Exactly. Legacy. You're disgusting. No, I've been particular about the women. I've. No, uh, you are. Yes. You're not discerning are you, whatsoever. Are you, do you do a review right after, like, come inside her? Did you come inside her? I literally <laughs> asked you know him. What? Uh, so Guess I, what? As guys, I think we do that. Yeah, <laughs> every, li- you, literally not... every guy. <laughs> if, if a girl hooks up with your friend and then she leaves and your friend is there, you go, did you... What did you do? Like, you have to know. I Honestly, I ask. I only care about a couple guys, and any time I hear about them having sex, that's the first question I ask. Right. I'm like, are you going to be entrapped? Are they? In, are you, so have wait, you entrapped yourself? We could bring this up right now, right? Let's, yeah. Uh, well, well, now we have a female perspective. Oh. Uh, let's. I, w- I went on a date recently. Uh-oh. Right? And while we're, we were getting down Poirier. to the, 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 the fun part. And it's like, I, I, I got condoms because I'm not sure I'm in love with her, right? I don't want to just dump inside of her. Yes. It, it also just like, do you want to have a kid just right out the gate? Like, maybe that <laughs> doesn't matter if you love or, or yeah. not. Well, like, people first, are on birth control, but. Yeah. First date oh. kid seems like a, a fun way to come into the, in this world uh, that <laughs> seems like on your level mr has, hey, to, be mr. An has to be an accident yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah. Like have a, it has to be an accident with the uh, the person you've loved and cared about for uh, a few months months yeah. all right <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. five years and i'm like mm, maybe <laughs> <laughs> yeah but so uh we we got the condoms we're getting down to it and then she's also like by the way you have to pull out so i'm like i'm already wearing condoms and I, have, have I have to pull out and I'm just like, ah, uh, I don't, I'm not, I'm not comfortable with this. I don't think we should do this and kind of like backed out. What do you, what do you think? Did I make the wrong move? I mean, it not... sounds like she really didn't want to have a baby with you, dude. Yeah, <laughs> yeah <it's>... that's my <laughs> thing. <laughs> Poor girl. And I kind of respect that. I think she might be a little paranoid, but. That's uh, what I think. I was just like, what is God? Like, yeah. I pull out, like, or wearing con is already like a bummer. And I'm like, okay, I, it's real. I get it. We have to do that. That's I, yeah. no problems. But then asking me to pull out. Well, after the, it's like, what is Was that? she like stern about it? No. It was a deal breaker. It was a deal breaker. It was, I don't know. It was just weird. It was too weird of a question. I was never prepared for. I never thought yeah. about it before, you know? I mean, that sounds terrible. Honestly, like having to do an act, do an extra task, like at that exact moment sounds like. So many more tasks. <laughs> there's just a, there's work to do now when I'm trying to come. Yeah, yeah. Like that sounds like, hard. Man. Yeah. Like, so I get that that would be a pain in the ass. Um, I don't know. At that point, but it's also just, her prerogative. I will. No, say. it is her prerogative, yeah, which you clearly respect. Listen, we, and, we respect no a was woman's occurred. right to choose for you, <laughs> you to have bad sex. <laughs> <laughs> I prefer the sex was difficult. <laughs> no, truly, <laughs> not satisfying. It felt like too many tests. And no, I like, get that. It I'm is just like I don't. I'm not feeling a spark between us right yeah. now. Like, yeah. This is, it does suck that when I was young, I was like, yeah, who cares? Condoms, whatever. But then as you get older, you get lazy. You get, well, also <laughs> you have relate, you have serious relationships. And then of course you don't use them for like, you know, so then you've, you've had sex hundreds of times or whatever. You know, without what you them. Want. Yes. And then if you, when you get single again, like uh, we, we're both single now <laughs> in our thirties and then you go back to them, you're like, this shit does not feel anything like it like <laughs> what the fuck is even the point of this it's Dude, I'm gonna so kill bad. myself yeah, it's, so bad. <laughs> it's so bad that i can't I'm believe like, i do all this work to get here yeah. like, <laughs> no it's incredibly bad i yeah. can't believe there are people in committed relationships that use them dude yeah <laughs> i was like do you love what? each other i've been in, I w- i've been in my married friends rooms and i'm like what are those <laughs> you have that kids. makes no sense to me yeah, yeah like i you, guess if like birth control that's the thing like birth IUD. Well, get an IUD. There's like all the thi- again, a woman uh, like everything, all her hormones can like fuck her up however way, and the- she could be like, I have a non-hormonal IUD. 
Do they have those? Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, they she's don't... arming us with information. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't let your girlfriend <gasps> lie to you. What I is would... this non-hormonal? Co- I... It's copper. Uh, Matt has jokes about it, actually. It's uh, our it's our little... Yeah. <laughs> it's my little one. It uh, lasts for 10 years, <laughs> yes. and they put it up there, and there's no hormones, and it's just like the copper makes an anti... Like a spermicidal environment. That's why they make copper doorknobs. They kill yeah. bacteria. Stop actually... getting cum on the doorknobs. <laughs> I actually <laughs> think it. my ex-wife had one of those, but then I... Hold it out? No, it. I. Br- <laughs> it, it. You broke it. Our. Yeah. It like didn't work right because I. I like bumped it and then it made her very sick or something. Oh, that's hard. Yeah. And there's so obviously she with any an with anything. There's like people who aren't gonna react well to yeah, yeah, any yeah, of yeah. the different versions. But for I, a lot of people, it's like you know, really chill. Sits up there, just doesn't let babies happen, and um, yeah, I like it. I would sleep with someone without a condom if they were on zero birth control and just go medieval style. That's what I was going to say. Pull out. It yeah, works. which is because... Well, you, you just, apparently don't want... Well, I guess well, condom no, and yes. one or the other would have been... Like, yeah, no. You need... It's, I'm pro pulling out no condom, and I'm pro wearing a condom. Pulling it, out no condom, <laughs> I'm going to be personally... like I don't think that is a strong enough method. It's like... It works. It's 95% effective. No, Not, it's yeah. 100% <laughs> effective if you do it. That's no, the thing. Pre, pre-cum has a little bit of sperm in it. That's a myth. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I know what people with abortions. Let me tell you. It's not. Well, I'm willing yeah. to pay for that. Okay. Well, that's also a whole thing for the woman to have to go. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And this is my point. Being a father, mm-hmm. not half the work. Well, that's <laughs> no, why so. if I'm... I, when did your last doctor talk to you about your fertility? Um, I don't go I to the doctor. Th- nice. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So never. <laughs> I made a doctor's appointment right before the pandemic to get um, uh, lasered. Uh huh. You know, I wanted is, uh, laser vasectomy. Pube removal? Vasectomy. Oh. vasectomy. Yeah, lasers? Yeah. yeah, they laser you. Wait, now. I thought you was going to say laser hair removal too. I was like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Let's Has talk about said, it. Let's go in. So, you know what's comparable? Clean it up down there. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you, you know what's comparable to women having babies? Me getting yeah. laser Don't hair removal. Don't worry, removable. also. We do that too. <laughs> it's, it's so painful for the man. <laughs> <laughs> so, I no, I went and was like, hey, I want a vasectomy or whatever. And so, I, I did recently, but then the pandemic happened and I couldn't get a follow-up and now i still yeah, can make excuse. a baby it's unfortunate the entire world shut down I you can get al- a- also i don't understand why more guys don't get vasectomies because they're reversible yeah but it's not 100 percent effective the reversing isn't effective 100 effective also they cut your balls open laura <laughs> no, <laughs> like they don't a- they snip a thing up top Ugh, can't, it's a whole wait, thing can't you just freeze your sperm do you understand we right? put hormones in our body every single day we don't ask you to do that like I said, <laughs> I will have sex with you either that's way. Yeah, that's true. But All you, right, fine. You got <laughs> you, this specific group is not the problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are pro women doing literally whatever they want. So yeah. wait, you can freeze sperm, right? And you can freeze eggs. Yeah. Why so, don't we just oh, freeze Oh, so that was the other yeah, part. Okay. True. So my doctor goes, we were talking about it, and I was like, well, what is the chances that it even works? Because I'm like, I'm going to get fucking, I feel like I'm getting scammed right now. Yeah. That was my first $20,000, and feel like I'm getting scammed. Let's <laughs> let's talk some more details How here. many eggs do they take? Only like a dozen. What? That's what I said. That I thought that at was least... super low, and they were like, that's great. And I'm like, what? You're in Do there. a baker's dozen get, at get, least. Kind of scoop a couple. Take you know? all of them out of one ovary. Just, what are you doing? Yeah, just scoop them out. What are you? I'm so confused. Get as many as you can, dude. It does seem like a scam. It felt like a scam, and then I was like, what's the rate of like success with like say i'm like oh shit need to use one of these eggs like what is the odds that that'll happen and he's like well there's no guarantees and i'm like okay obviously like i get that but he's like it's a lot higher if you freeze it with um the sperm already like it already fertilized oh which has the plot twist of you obviously have to choose your partner to freeze the eggs yeah. with which is an ex- a weird thing to go through the mental thought process on because i love matthew we're likely getting married. He's probably going to be it. But what if he, like, died? Then, then you have a clone of him. That's not what those are. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you bring cryogenics into it, that's what it sounds well, like. Well, also, if he's and gone, it does feel like a clone yeah. at that point. Well, it would be so... Yeah, you know what I mean? So it's like, all of a sudden, no, it's, it's weird. like... And then you're like, what if I'm trying to have a baby with another person, but I'm like, eh, the eggs are already fertilized, so I guess I'm having a kid that's, no, that's with, his... my, with my dead husband. That's his problem. Yeah. The dead husband Point was being, I was just... I'm, then Meanwhile, I'm still there, like, hung over as hell, like, <laughs> um, I don't want to do this. Yeah. <laughs> Doctor, I'll, I'll schedule a follow-up. Never seeing him again. <laughs> yeah, there's so much that doctors do that I'm kind of like, you are... 
this isn't real. What I do don't they, need to do this. What do they do with the eggs if you never use them? Is there, are they just Well, that's lab? the other thing is then there's the whole, like, growing. that's technically an embryo. So it's like laws and shit start to apply. They're growing a secret I've army. I've heard that people have given their eggs and then not done anything. And then later the eggs were used by people who yeah. were trying to get in vitro. Yeah. And like, so then you have a baby because people 23 and me and they're like, why do I have a child? Yeah. I am a lesbian woman who froze her eggs once when I was confused, and now yep. I have a baby, and they found out that that's what yep. happened. Yep. That's cool. Um, <laughs> my sister donated her eggs. Oh. I know, which is a whole thing. It's like a really cool thing to do if you can do it. And Does she that had, pay? It pays great, but that's... it's also extraordinarily invasive. Like. It's a whole Did, process. You know what? Well, I, that's the process for you would have to go through to save I your own. I know. Eggs. Yeah. Yeah. I just figured it out. What? They only scrape like 12. It scrapes the medical term, right? Is it, sure. It sounds gross. It sounds when terrible. I, it's like an ice cream scoop. Yeah. Scoop. They, <laughs> they only grab a few eggs because they don't want you blowing out the market of the eggs. Oh, really? Why am I imagining <laughs> a doctor in your vagina with like a Trisket? You know how they eat yeah. caviar? <laughs> He's just yeah. like, and there's Dip 12. in and it's like the, yeah. Just shaking kind of, yeah. them into a piece tree dish or whatever it's just lady caviar also i'm woman, so female woman human woman caviar i'm mm. so gross and white trash that when you said they have to be fertilized i was like oh you have to have sex right before the dog and i was like no no that's not how that yeah, works science science happens oh, in there. Space science the come that's so unfun they, yeah it's not it's it's a whole thing and then it's like well matthew i hope we want to have kids and don't die so well, and then you have to have that conversation with him oh yeah and i i told him that and he was like why wouldn't you want to put them in with my like and i was like well oh, what yeah. if you'd fucking die <laughs> like he's like well that would be terrible you shouldn't have kids then anyway i'm like okay like <laughs> yeah i want listen if i'm married and i die she needs to be unhappy and i want you to make sure <laughs> i will thank I will you and i will make sure for you too look but if i die i want to be cloned Oh, okay. I'll work yeah, on that. Honestly, same. <laughs> yeah. yeah, fuck yeah. Legacy, like, I'll stay around. <laughs> if I die, I want you to freeze my brain just in case we can put it in a robot later. Okay. Yeah, that'd Thank be you. badass. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. That'd be cool as hell. Do you uh, do you go Dutch well, with your with your partner when you're freezing your eggs, the price? Oh, oh great good question. question. Great <laughs> question. I would, I would feel, I'd be like, you know what? I like this girl. I'm going to, I'll pay for it. No, she goes German. She makes him front the whole cost <laughs> yeah. or else. <laughs> German would be like, we'll pay for it. We pay for all the European Union right right yeah, now as it is. <laughs> well, but you we'll also team on our. Oh, no, listen, we cause problems. Uh, yeah, yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah, you, you, we've got full control. <laughs> literally, tell Russia to invade sometimes. Yeah, so. But Angela's pretty cool. She's yeah. hardcore. She probably froze her eggs. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. She She's got tons eggs. of clones out there. Oh, we know God, that for that's sure. Legacy. Like she's not going away. <laughs> well, also, there's like nine of her is what I'm saying. So yeah. if one of her is assassinated by Putin, the other eight take control. They're regularly assassinated, actually. Yeah, yeah I think so. And just also... It's like a hive mind scenario. <laughs> it is so funny. <laughs> Angela is activated. That just a frumpy German lady is like the only thing that prevented World War Three at one point. She's fucking cool. Oh, yeah? I don't know. I don't know much about her. I, like Her policies may be horrifying. I have no idea. But just the, like her her vibe... I like she uh she militarized the German uh the German army before they were allowed to. Good for her. So after that's, World that's War, that's kind of fucking badass, yeah. right? Boss, boss bitch. Okay, I'm sure, if you look in, there's probably problems with this. <laughs> yeah, no, there's a bunch of stuff, but then you know Russia is like uh has a bunch of troops on the border with Estonia and all these other countries, and then Russia was doing stuff in Ukraine and. Angela Merkel like put German soldiers and stuff, and then she literally was like, "Invade, do it, pussy!" Like we'll <laughs> fight. Got her yeah. energy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's hardcore. Also, she refused to shake hands with Trump or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I remember called that. Him, she called him small on national television in uh, front of him, and amazing. Yeah, she's pretty hardcore. I don't know if she's a good person, but no, I know exactly. That, I, I'm sure she's not. I don't think money politicians are. No, but I do like no. the idea of if you're gonna run Germany, you might as well be the kind of person who's like. <laughs> Kind of a cunt, be kind of a cunt out, about it, you know? Do it. Yeah. <laughs> also, like, I feel like if you're a German politician, the bar is set so high for being evil. Yeah. You're just like... <laughs> <laughs> just, just don't genocide a whole race, and you're doing good. And you're like just fucking yeah. killing it. Yeah, yeah. This, this German politician shit's easy. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> They're really happy that I'm not murdering anyone just, in camps. Yeah. <laughs> just don't do World War Three. 
That's all we voted for you to not just listen. Yeah. We hit two already. We just don't <laughs> want a third. Dude, they they want the run Dude. back. You know they do. <laughs> they want. What if Germany was like, okay, what about best out of five? <laughs> no, if you win, if you win World War Three, the first two World Wars don't even count. That's true. <laughs> Who gives a fuck what happened in yeah. the other ones? If you win, the winner is the winner. Yeah. It's true. The, it, in fact, world wars are a lot like the swimming trial, Olympic swimming yeah. trials. That's true. Yeah, you the have last rounds. race is the, the only round. one that matters. <laughs> very, very. <laughs> and the top two are the only ones that make it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So true. Oh, man. World War Three is going to be cool. Technically, we've done like you know three other world wars but what's wild is it's like i feel like the wars in the this we'll just go on this tangent um i feel like wars in the future aren't gonna look like any of the old wars it's all gonna be cyber crime oh you know, it, it already kind of happened yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. have you seen happen. all that stuff with like so i work at cyber in a cybersecurity company oh my god i know i do sales don't worry about it it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's like the, the most pussy version of it yeah it's fine it, there's but the point is that like you see a bunch of the different attack types that are going and Russia just has companies that do cybercrime. Like that's like one of their main like exports, I guess, like our industries yeah. is criminals for hacking. Like you go to the office and you try to break into various companies. Like that was the colonial gas pipe was a ransomware attack from a group in Russia. Yeah. Um, oh, what was their name? It was cool. Did they have a cool hacker name? It was name? very bad. It was literally like something like our Hacker fourteen or our something. fourteen year old brains would have come up with for a World of Warcraft guild <laughs> just in in two thousand five or whatever. Just- Lowercase x, capital X, yeah, lowercase yeah, yeah. x, it's, underscore, cipher with like a, literally, a three. It was like Doom Squad cipher. or something. It was dark side. Dark nice. side. Yeah, cool. dude, it's so dark. Wait, is it with dark side with like a Y? It's dark with capital S. Dark Ooh. side. Damn, that rules. We have, a, we have a thing on the, po- we have a podcast disagreement, and you work in cybersecurity, so you can yeah. help Shane and I. Out. We have an argument on how passwords work here. Oh my <laughs> God, the argument isn't on how passwords work. So Mac never remembers his passwords yes. comically, to the point that I've become so in infe- like i've it's the most angry i think i've been <laughs> i'm a password manager i never remember my passwords yeah and so you use a password manager i exactly. got into a physical altercation with a man at cvs and i was less angry about that than i i was the time <laughs> mac literally i want uh, i want to double click on that but i'm gonna let you keep giving me all this shit and then later uh i was like We've ch- listen. Just, li- just I'll put it this way: we've changed the password to the podcast email, <laughs> no less than five times for has for a- security reasons. No, he has safe. a podcast manager, and I'll be like, people he- are just trying to break in. Yeah, exactly, he just doesn't have some passwords in his password manager, and then that's even safer. This if is I don't- a real yeah. thing that happened. He forgot the password to his password manager, and yeah, I was that's 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 oh, game over right there. That's God. not. I'll- I know, I know how to get back into like where I was. Well, if you can get back into it, then someone else can. No, because they don't know how my mind works. Oh, I'm so mad. I don't know why he gets so heated over having. You're gonna trigger cyber me. safety. I'm furious. You're he, gonna. He, yeah, I mean, it's you, you don't want people to get access to him. your your porn and your your exactly. Their, the, whatever. The, pa- the passwords your are Twitter so long shit. and insane. <laughs> well, I like, do you just do the strong like the like where it's like crazy no i do that for like they all my, are all like my, that no all my bitcoin stuff and yeah. all that is like the 32 all every character but like this is just it's just a phrase and then a few numbers yeah it's insane it's just it's <laughs> overly so and then it's different why is it not password every single exactly. one is different and i'm just like oh my god and i can't get in and i'm like what is it and he goes i had to change it i forgot it and it's Fuck. just like oh and he's so, like why don't you ever answer emails by the way everyone if you're wondering why we don't answer emails <laughs> often it's literally because we can't get into one, our email you should I have, have the- it auto forward to your ho- your email I should, but oh, we do answer the emails. My my personal email gets so full that I will miss more. I like can't. It's uh, yeah. All so. right. Well, you know, I'm coming here with solutions. I have business, so whatever. I'm trying to do out here. Who you do you think put it in a folder? All right. Who do you on. think's right, me or <laughs> Shane? I don't know. Neither. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna go with. <laughs> I love I love the reset your password. I just do that like all oh, the that's, time. That's how I get in a lot of times. Yeah, yeah no, it's that's how we my does password it. is reset my password. <laughs> that's like how I officially get in. Is this you? Ooh. 
Yeah, yeah. this is me. This is why I can't Text wait. me. Just text me. I don't know. I can't wait till everything is facial recognition. Fuck it. No, I don't I don't like that. Yeah, I just take a picture of your face and get yeah, in. Yeah, exactly. It feels like we're going to – yeah, it's going to get hacked quick. <laughs> I mean, maybe, but we'll see. Maybe. <laughs> it's, they hack our passwords quick. That's true. Not mine. So, I've never been hacked. You, no one have wants you gone on you have. have I been pwned? Whatever dot com. I have. Uh, Did you check all my all my pwned passwords are like of nineties websites. I know like Neopets. Use. Yeah, and it's just like yeah, you can get a, you can get access. Have to at my, have at it. Man. My have a hotel. My fitness <laughs> club or exactly. whatever. It was. I'm like anything that doesn't have my credit card attached. I'm like go for it. Yeah, have my, enjoy. I've, feed my feed my little animals. Whatever it was. I so. had my identity stolen when I was poor. And right. they were just like, all right, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> like, literally, there Damn were it. <laughs> zero consequences because I am not joking. They stole my identity and I had like $10 in my bank account. They went to wait, make one purchase. <laughs> Got <It's>, declined. <laughs> so I, it was before Obama did the law thing where they can't like take money from you if you overdraft. Yeah. they Because like, now ask. they won't let you. So, but the bank had banned me because I had had overdraft fees and refused to pay them for years and then oh and tried to open another bank account. it was all so i had a special bank account that would not allow me to overdraft so they stole my identity and then they went to spend money and the bank was like you're not allowed fucko because you're a piece of shit you we don't even allow you idiot. the credit to, yeah and so they were like yelling at me like you poor dumb idiot and then the guy was like <laughs> oh fuck and so then i that calls out. you he's like you gotta get your life together man <laughs> <laughs> seriously so that was that well, all right laura where can people find you yeah oh what's, god everywhere do you have any cyber security tips for swimming things you want to advertise no Comedy? i actually do a podcast on business news believe it or not Ooh. do you really i 100 percent. it's great it's may planner and i and we're dumb so we like read the news and then we explain it to dumb people like us i like that it's, i like thank that you. too thank you it's very it's I, very fun i've been wanting to do that with history yeah, but you do. You do. A his that's why you know so much about history. Right? I just in my spare. I literally just read that's a what history I do. book a week in my spare time. Well, that's what I I've been doing with business shit because it's like like I'm doing one on Elon Musk right now. Yeah, like it's been like a five part series. That's why when you posted about it. Yeah, I got so excited. Elon's dad killed three people. That's been fun to learn about legally or. Uh, illegal. To, well, like you shouldn't kill people, pretty much uh, ever. Rich people seem to get away with it. Well, was uh, he got away on self defense, but this was in South Africa. Ah, yeah. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Seems about weird. Where you're like, mm, and there's like suspiciously little info on it. You're like, mm, I don't know. But if you want to learn more about that, listen. <laughs> you could to... listen to the podcast. Also, he had like an emerald mine. Yeah, it's like a whole fucking yeah. thing. Um, so Elon's interesting, but it's like just like kind of looking at stuff like that and different companies that have been up to shit. So that's called Risque Business News. Risque. risque. Whoa, Risque Business. Yeah, because we're stupid. Okay. And ladies. <laughs> um, and then I run Brooklyn Underground Comedy. So come to that. It's on Thursdays. You just did it. It's yeah, it was great. It's, it's a, a good delight. show. It's if fun. you're ever in Brooklyn, uh, show up. Yeah, Thursdays and Sundays actually run too. You have an Instagram I have handle? an Instagram handle, handle, Laura Sogar. L-A-U-R-A-S-O-G-A-R, and all the links are there. You'll find all the shit. There I it is. Put it up frequently. All your all your Twitter, all your everything. I don't really tweet. No? no. All right. You gotta well, start. Guess what? Don't follow her on Twitter. I saw <laughs> you tweeted something I liked recently. <laughs> oh, I tweet every once in a while, and I'm always like, eh. Like, you gotta, you gotta tweet. If you're a comic, you gotta do all the mm, things. No, you don't. Uh, yeah, you do. I, I, I don't have a Facebook. He's, he's been he doesn't stuck in do comedy. Even go outdoors. <laughs> this is the password <laughs> thing. I'm killing where it. He just starts saying <laughs> shit, and you're like, no, not allowed, because you can't get in your own account. It's working. No, <laughs> he's not a comic. We're here right now. Do not listen to I'm him. I'm laughing at you. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it, you guys. Well, you get there. However, you get there. All right. <laughs> Speaking of which, anything else you want to plug? Yeah. Literally anything. Uh, if you're at the Olympic trials for swimming, come to my show. Oh, there there it you is. go. Hell but, yeah. I, and, and please mention that this is where you heard about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, would, I genuinely would love for that to I happen. I really would enjoy someone's like, I heard crazy story. But <laughs> Where's the Olympic trials? Have been Omaha. Held? Omaha. Yeah, middle of June. Oh, there. you got dates for that, or is it just, June just like twelfth, thirteenth, fourteenth, or there something? We're only nice. doing we're doing a couple. We're going to be in Florida. Oh, word! Fuck what yeah. part? We're going to. Well, most of it is debaucherous. We're going to be. Oh. I don't want to say where we're going to be the whole time, literally, because people will find us and be weird. But Hell we'll, yeah. we'll be in St. Petersburg for the very first part, doing, doing J shows. our friend JF's headlining, and we're going to be there. JF helping Harris. It. Yeah, we're yeah, helping him sell was, out the show. 
so that he can have the best taping possible. And then we're going to go meet up with some of the boys. And we're going to be stupid. We're going to wrestle gonna, gators I'm and have swim in the sex ocean. with strangers. Oh, my God. Let me Swim know out goes. into the ocean, side stroke. <laughs> the lifeguards will be like, stop. And you're like, you can't stop me. <laughs> That's right. Florida. This is Florida. I can, I can do whatever I want. We're going to do so go. many things. I can't wait. I'm going to do acid and swim out as far as I can. All right. Ocean. I need to hear how that goes. Let yeah. Me know. Oh, hell <laughs> yeah. Follow dude. up. I'm Follow gonna, up. Yeah, it's going to be a great time. So literally, we're just going to be debaucherous and have fun. All right. Uh, yeah, and you can support us on Patreon, patreon.com slash cowboyboys. Uh, that's a thing. All right. That's that is a thing. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you can give Mac money for not doing comedy. Uh, I do comedy. Anyways, uh, <laughs> thank you for listening. That was the podcast. Yeehaw. Yeehaw. Yeehaw.